So currently the problem is when trying to rescue a drowning victim, another person has to get into the water. So what this device currently eliminates is putting that second person in the water and therefore reducing the risk uh, surrounding trying to save another person from drowning. So the idea is to put this on any beach, put it in the trunk of any first responder's car. Now we can put this device in the water. It's simplistic. It's just like driving an RC boat or an RC car. Even if you've never driven one, you can pick it up kind of on the fly. Um, it's just one button. It's, you put it in the water and now you're driving this uh, motorized life ring um, to the drowning victim. The purpose is just to provide flotation. Um, it doesn't have the necessary power to bring them back. Uh, we, we could develop that in the future, but as of right now, we just want to get them flotation. We want to calm down the, the drowning victim um, so that one formal uh, rescue, search and rescue uh, personnel get to the scene, they can then get in a boat and perform their uh, rescue. So another part of the, another design, I guess, criteria for this device is that it could handle five to six foot waves, uh, heavy prevailing winds, offshore or onshore winds, where the devices that are currently on the market, uh, you know, flotation rings, uh, PFDs, someone standing on shore can only throw it so far and often those big swells and waves are coming into shore so you might throw it out, it's just going to come right back to you. Whereas this device and the Emily unit are made to fight that wave, um, they're self-writing so they can get tossed and turned, uh, thrown around in the surf and then the user can correct that and just keep progressing towards the victim. Ideally, it'll be such a low cost that we can pitch this idea to any municipality and they won't even have to think twice about it, whether or not they want, want one um, to use.